This next episode of Overworked History is about the Einstein Sylwaid Refrigerator, co-designed by Albert Einstein. Early refrigerators used three types of coolant, but all three were incredibly toxic. Thankfully, they were secured inside the device, so they could not escape. In theory, the pumping mechanisms could break, releasing the toxic liquids into homes. In the mid-1920s, a broken refrigerator pump killed an entire Berlin family, horrifying Albert Einstein when he read about it in the newspaper. Einstein asked scientist and inventor Leo Sillard to help him design a better fridge, which would not be toxic. Though Einstein is of course better known for his physics work, he was also a tinkerer and worked at the Swiss patent office, so he was well equipped to solve the problem. Sillard was similar and later invented the electron microscope and particle accelerator. Einstein and Sillard eventually created a fridge using three liquids and gases to cool food. It also had no moving parts, and was powered only by methane sealed safely inside. Einstein and Sillard filed several patents, and made a small bit of money off their new device. Unfortunately, it was not found to be as practical as conventional refrigerators. Einstein and Sillard each had their own ideas about what to do next, so they each created another design, both of which were more efficient. One was powered by a liquid sodium pump, which is found to be too expensive to be practical. The other was powered by water pressure, but Berlin's water system was not designed for the pressure needed. In the end, none of our einstein sold refrigerators were practical. In 1930, the toxic chemicals in refrigerators were replaced by a non-toxic gas, Freon. Once Freon became widespread, there was no need to radically redesign fridges. Freon of course had other problems, but those would not be uncovered for decades. Thank you.